Hi everybody. Today we're going to look at another feature of Smart Notebook 15.1 that's located in the Lesson Activity Builder within the Magic Hat at the top of your screen. By clicking the hat you'll be brought to the different types of activities in Notebook 15.1. As you scroll down you'll reach the fill in the blanks. You'll notice the description here states your students will have a great time dragging and dropping items to fill in the missing words, phrases, or numbers in any passage. Just enter text and select the pieces you want to leave blank and you'll be playing in minutes. Just like our other activities, we're going to add this activity. It'll bring you to the templates and theme pages. Again, here you can choose what you would like it to look like or theme. I'm going to keep underwater reef here. You can choose if you're filling in actual answers that are correct and incorrect or preferences. For purposes of activity, we'll focus on correct and incorrect. And then if you want the answers to be checked as they do it or at the end. So again, this is your customization page here. We're just going to keep them how they are for right now. When I go to next, this is where I add my content. And if you're adding a lot of content from a curriculum, you know, if you use unique learning or reading A to Z and you're going to add some of that in, you might want to have that ready to copy and paste into here. For purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to type something brief that you may do in one of your classrooms. Today is Monday. First, I have math. Then I go to gym. So then, there is my text right there. What I want to do now is define where my blanks are going to be by simply dragging the blank on top of the word that I want to blank. There's math and there's gym and I can do this up to 10 times depending on the length of my text. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit next. We will not be adding any game components, although you surely can to this activity. And then I'm going to select finish and my lesson will be created. You'll notice there's my sentence with the two blanks that I selected. And then I can drag my answers to the right places. It'll prompt me to check my answers and you'll notice that I got them both correct. If I were to get them incorrect, you would see the red X's there. You simply can reset the activity and try it again. So you do have that assessment piece built into this activity, which isn't in some of the other ones. A couple things to take note of. This only works with text. You can't add pictures for the blanks or the actual words in the sentence. Similarly, you can't add any audio to the words for struggling readers. I'm hoping that's something that SMART may add in the future, but for right now, this is what you have. You could create something similar in um, the original activity builder where you have boxes and you might drag words to those boxes to see if they're accepted or rejected. And there you can add some audio um, feedback as well or um, verbal um, statements of the words to support struggling readers in that respect. So there are other, other ways to do these things if you need those features as well. It just needs to get creative within uh, Smart Notebook to do that. You could even create uh, text boxes on shapes and then you could add the um, you could add the words, the audio recording, right to the words themselves. That's up the gym. If that's something you want to do to support, again, it's not the actual word in the game that you're um, adding the audio to, but you could create it and then add it to the actual game that's itself. The gym. And then the students would drag the other one. Um, you could do the same thing with a picture prompt or support with the with the um, verbal feedback next to it as well, but again, you're not going to be dragging what you created over here. You're going to be dragging the actual piece of the game right there. So again, being creative and, and figuring out solutions you need based on your lesson and the students you're working with. So again, the fill-in-the-blanks is a quick and easy way to create fill-in-the-blank activities using different content. You can select a lot of text at once to dump into the activity so you don't have to do type each word out, and then you simply select the blanks and you're ready to play. I hope you found this um, tutorial helpful and I thank you for watching.